Alright, hey, what's up, guys? This is uh, me making a video. It's about Final Fantasy X 2. Yeah! You know, at first, I didn't want to play this game, but then I did, so it was good. Alright, so, um, yeah, I originally played this game when I was like 11, probably. It was like the year it came out, and uh, um, I was very young, basically. I, I never played any really big RPGs outside of Pokemon and couple other ones here and there like Secret of Mana and stuff but um so yeah I bought 10 2 like Christmas um I mean I had my doubts because I didn't like it when I was a, a kid so I was a little worried I wasn't gonna like it but I have basically played every Final Fantasy game and uh, I just got to the point where I wanted to get this one plus it was only like five dollars so that doesn't hurt um so 10 was a great game uh, 10 2 Eh, I was I was gonna see how it played out, but um, it starts off very slow. The story, um, you know, it's just you're not really playing like this dark and depressing story where you you're on a journey to die basically. Like in ten, there was like this very perfect like atmosphere, like everybody knew their role to play in this, and like this game, it's just kind of like the aftermath. Like two years later. Yuna's like, well that's bullshit, I guess I'll try to live pretty happy now, and she's like, she becomes a sphere hunter, and she basically goes around the world collecting spheres that have videos and stuff in them, and uh, there really isn't like a big bad guy, I mean there is one introduced a little ways into it, but um, for the most part you just have like rivals and monsters and stuff to fight, but um, the story itself, it, it is really slow. It picks up a little bit, but not too much. Um, chapter 5, because there's there's only 5 chapters. Chapter 5 is extremely awesome, though. I thought that chapter was done really well. But, chapter 1, just kind of like, introduction. and. But, I mean, the real reason uh, this game, like, shines, like... The, the story redeemed itself for me in the end. Like, it didn't completely suck or anything. But I'm just saying, it wasn't as good as 10. Um, I don't think it was better than 13. Uh, I I don't think it was better than any of their stories, besides maybe. No, I th I hate to say, it, but even Final Fantasy 1, I felt more of a reason to play. Like you're saving the fucking world. I mean, you are in 10 too, also, but you don't really. I don't know. You you don't really have a sense of danger. You basically have an airship that allows you to go anywhere in the planet whenever you want. You can teleport back to it whenever you want. Well, not whenever you want, but at a save point. Um, there's usually like five save points in every dungeon, so you, you n you're never really low on health. But um, I guess the main place this game shines is the gameplay. Uh, you basically, in, like in Final Fantasy X, it was more turn-based. Um, I don't think there was even the active time battle in it, but this game brings back the ATB. Um, it brings job system, which the last game, yeah, tend to have job system, did it? No, it just had like the the sphere grid or whatever. But this game introduces the garment grid, which um, basically there's like 12 jobs I think in total. You know, you have your basics, you have your warrior, your dark knight, your white mage, your black mage, your gun mage, your gunner, your thief, your uh, your alchemist your mascot, you know, you have like a lot of jobs that do a lot of things, but for the most part, I stuck with the the starting jobs, I, I actually played those until I maxed those out. That might have been a mistake though, because later, um, my when I started needing my other jobs, they are pretty low level, but um, luckily I found a way to grind up AP, which is the ability points to level up those jobs. I, I found a pretty good place to grind that up, but... Um, I do love jobs, and they do give you a lot of jobs, and I think that's always a plus in a game. So, Garment Grid, I think, is a pretty good idea. Um, even more, though, the Dress Spheres. I love that idea. Like, not only do you, like, switch jobs during battle, but it actually changes your appearance, too. And it's, it's a drastic change. I mean, like, everybody knows white mages wear white robes and stuff. Fucking, you, dude, you, like, you click, beep! Like left L1 or whatever, and then you click white mage. All of a sudden, you like fucking like flash over into this white mage, and it looks amazing. Like so cool looking. Although you do have to turn off the animation because you're gonna be sitting there for like 30 seconds every time you job change. 
and it gets a little old. But, um, yeah, I, I think it's awesome that you can just flop jobs like that on the spot. Very Final Fantasy 13 y. Um, so I do approve of the job system in the combat. It's very fast. Um, most battles don't last very long. Boss battles, on the other hand, they last quite a while. Um, I only died a couple times throughout the game. So, I didn't really have to, like, grind or anything hardcore. I did grind for, like, maybe two hours at the Funnel Dungeon just to make sure I could get through there without dying. Which, I was around level 45 when I beat it. Um, yeah, so I think, gameplay-wise, this game definitely shines there. Um, what else do we got? The story, eh. Gameplay, awesome. Music, 10 had a really strong soundtrack. 10 2 soundtrack is pretty good. It's a lot more mixed. Um, like, there's a lot of, like, jazz and a lot of rock and stuff. Techno thrown in there, too. But, um, there are, it's about around the same of songs I liked and disliked. Uh, there's, like, a huge amount of songs that are pretty cool, but a lot of ones I didn't really care for. Um, I mean, like, everybody knows about the opening song, which is, uh, it's like Deep Emotion or something. I forgot what the exact name I think it's Deep Emotion. Um, it's like the opening where Yuna's singing. That song's really good. Uh, she sings another song later that's pretty good, A Thousand Words. That's, that's a really widely known song. Um, I don't think that, like, is a big of an emotional value is, uh, the one where Titus and Yuna are in the lake or whatever, like, what is it, Suteki Day Nai or something like that. Um, I think that song was probably better than both of those, but they're all, all three of those are great songs, and they're both provided with really awesome cutscenes. So, music-wise, 10, 10 2 doesn't fail there. I think it was good. Um, I mean, they, at least they didn't do any bullshit soundtrack where, like, like Mass Effect, where it's like all violins and fucking like trumpets and stuff. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying, right? Like that that retarded Hollywood type soundtrack where it's like orchestral and like 30 dudes are like playing flutes and stuff. Like there's no like imagination to it. It's all basic sounding. But yeah, I think that's really all I can touch. Uh, the story is pretty good. The gameplay is good. Uh, music. It's it's not it's above average, I'll say that. But yeah, that's all I really got. Um yeah. I, I definitely say play the game if you're a Final Fantasy fan. Uh I'll try to rent it, but if you can buy it, I mean it's it's ten dollars or so, you definitely should.